Question 40 is an extension of question 39. If this electric force caused by one and two is equal to capital F, what is the net electric force then in terms of this capital F? Now, I'm gonna solve this first just by looking at it and not doing any math. Uh, we've already done 39, so we should be able to do that. Then I'll do the math just because it's always good to do that as well. First off, you know it should be zero. We have some net force. Second, you know that the hypotenuse of a triangle is going to be greater than either of the two sides, so it cannot be B or C. And also, you know that the only way to get it to be 2F is if these two forces are in the exact same direction. Therefore, the answer must be D. Now I'll walk through the math. The easiest way to do the math for this is to identify that this is a right triangle. Therefore, we can use the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, or the net force squared equals f squared plus f squared. Therefore, the net force is equal to the square root of 2f squared. The net force then is equal to f times the square root of 2. The correct answer is d. Still.